think it all comes down to our spacing, you know, and how well um, we space for each other. I think earlier in the series, you know, our, our spacing was not great and it allowed their physicality and length to really shut off things. Uh, but, you know, for us, if we're, we're, we're playing against all the switching, if you don't have good spacing, it makes it very, very difficult because they're a good help team and, and they certainly do a good job protecting the rim. But if you can space it correctly, even if you don't get to the rim, you can get some kickout shots. Yeah, you know, Rice, I, I also think, too, is I think a lot of these guys understand now, you know, there's so many possessions in an NBA game and there's so much time and people are playing so much faster that, you know, leads that years ago maybe seemed like a, a really, really difficult hill to climb, you know, I think are certainly attainable to get back in the game. And certainly you never want to be down by 13 points. Uh, but, you know, you look at the way the game started, we kind of jumped on them, they came right back. So I, I think there's going to be these ebbs and flows. And I, I mentioned, you know, emotional toughness there, but that, that's where you have to have it. You know, they knocked down some shots and they kind of built the lead. But, like, we just got to stay the course and, and play to our identity. And I think, to your point, our composure and the way we, you know, stuck together, the way we encouraged each other, I thought that was really important. And anytime you're hitting any level of adversity, because, like, when you're playing against good teams, adversity's going to come. It's all how you handle it collectively as a group. And I think those guys during the, that time did a really good job. And, you know, again, I thought, you know, Baisley and, and, and Nerlens really, really closed the third quarter well for us. And it got us right back in the game, which was great to see, considering the way the third quarter started. He, he was great. I, I think, you know, with the way they're playing defense and the way we're trying to space the floor, I think he has got a really good comfort level of where he his spots are going to be. But I think to, I think what maybe Royce asked before, talked about before, was the composure piece is with a guy like him on the floor, with whoever it is, whether it's veteran guys or young guys, he has a way of kind of stopping runs and finding ways to, you know, generate good shots. And generally, he's either doing it for himself or his teammates. And, you know, when he's using his his mind like that, he understands, okay, there's some momentum going here. And, and he really changed it, you know, because I kept – I let him play a little bit longer in the third. I was going to take him off a little bit sooner, but I, I just felt like he was getting into a rhythm. We were in a little bit of a hole, and I thought, you know, he could do a really, really nice job, you know, kind of settling our team, and, and that's what he does do. Uh -oh. Well, listen, I mean, our formula has been, you know, those three guards and, and, and Gallinari scoring. You know, that's really kind of been our formula. And Steven's been a guy that's really been a great roller, screen setter, and a force and, and provides us double-figure points. You know, that's kind of where we've got it done. And, you know, trying to, coming into the playoffs, having this pandemic, being off for four months, and now playing a unique team like Houston that switches everything, having to you know, align, alignments on the floor, spacing, so those guys can all function and play to their strengths. And I think when those three guards are playing well, our team's generally playing well. But the one thing that's great about Dennis is there's no question he should be a starting and, should, and could be a starting point guard in, in this league. But he, he's such a team guy. That's winning in a team is the most important thing to him. And whatever you ask him to do, he's going to do. He knows he's going to be an important part in terms of minutes played per game. But he's totally fine coming off the bench. And, and he gets himself ready. And when he does come into the game, I think it really injects a lot of energy into our team because of his competitiveness.